streaming service is the best streaming service to DJ with in 2023. And stay tuned till the end of this video where I show you the coolest feature where you can DJ with millions of music videos. We're going to go over here to our music select button in DJ Pro AI. And then to choose our sources, we are going to press this drop down menu over here. And then right in the middle is Tidal. Yes, there is SoundCloud and Beatport, but I highly recommend using Tidal and I will explain that. Now we are in Tidal and this is what you are going to see. I'm gonna go from top to bottom, show you exactly how to use it and what to do. Over here, we can make the playlist bigger. I feel like this makes it a little more confusing, so I don't use it that way, but you can if you want to. And then over here is a search bar. This will search anything in the title database, all the songs, music videos that are in title. This is different than if you would search in your own playlist. So just keep that in mind. Now, any song you search, I typed in 50 cent. And then this is what you're going to see. You have the popular songs by the artist over here. And then you can go to show all songs and it'll show like every song by the artist. And then videos, it's going to just show all the popular music videos. And then you can load it up into the video mixer and DJ with a TV or a projector. It is awesome. I will show you that later. Stay tuned to the video. And then also, and then you get artists and then out, you can go by albums and then there's playlists. There's user created playlists there. They are not nearly as good as Spotify. By the way, if you were thinking about asking me if you could DJ with Spotify, you cannot. So get used to DJing with Tidal because it's the next best thing. I recommend doing your searching before and then make your playlist for your gigs so you're not typing around like an accountant, like I always say in my videos. We could create new playlists directly in, in Tidal. Down here, these are our regular collection, my collections or playlist in the DJ Pro AI app or we could go to our playlist in title. So now that song is in that playlist in title. So it's really cool. You could actually make playlists inside the title app. This is a newer feature. So I just wanted you to know that. Over here is edit. We could select these playlists. We can rename them. So even if you're using, even if you have the user created playlist saved, you can make them your own name or we can delete them like that. Delete the playlist, done. So down here is going to be all your playlists from Tidal. If you use Tidal before you were DJing, all the playlists you made will be available right there as soon as you log into your account. So now down here to the left is playlist. That's what we're on. Over here is explore. This is not the best music discovery. Sort. This is not great for music discovery. Like, like I said, it's not the same as Spotify. So it's kind of hard. They have new, new songs staff picks top 20 and then all the genres let's say you're looking for dance music if you want to get ideas dance classics over here and all of that type of stuff and then you could also have moods which is pretty cool i don't really use that but it'll do different types of moods i'm going to skip over video we're going to get back to that at the end of the video and then we have match so if you have a song on an active deck and you press match it is going to use AI technology to find you similar songs to the one that's playing. It's good for music discovery. And then when you have these songs playing, you could hard it and then go back to it later and then, and then add it to your user and then add it to your own playlist. So the match feature is really great for music discovery. If you needed to add more songs to your playlist or just trying to find what song would work with the song that you find on playing. They, it is categorized by BPM, artist, genre, and it does a pretty great job of finding similar songs. Now over here is history. So this is going to show your history. Let's say you played a great song yesterday and you wanted to find it. You'd go here to yesterday and then you could find the song. So not only can you use title for songs and music videos, which is obviously important, but there are some hidden things that you might not have thought about, which could help you a lot. And then that is going to be sound effects. So you could get like a dog bark, you could get police siren, whatever type of sound effects that you would like to use in your sets, you could do that. Also, I would recommend making a playlist for these sound effects. So this is my playlist of sound effects that I would use for surprise parties. So this is a crowd cheering. 
or you could do kind of like a countdown. This is a great way to start off your set and get people's attention on you when you're first starting your DJ set. Countdown, start. And then also, besides sound effects, you could actually do DJ Scratch samples. So DJ Pro has a built-in Scratch sample feature, which is, if you hold it in, over here is Scratch Tools. But if you wanted to get something a little bit different, so there you can use scratching sound effects if you plan on scratching or doing turntablism when you DJ. So this is really cool to get more of a variety instead of just using the Scratch sample every time so definitely think out of the box and it's not just tracks and videos you actually could dj with these sound effects and with all these other features which will make your sets sound different than other djs or different than if you were just playing music so let's go to video mode so in videos so if you search a song it'll give you the song and the videos like i told you and then you you just press the song and then go into video mode and then there's music videos so you could also use these music videos in auto mix so if you make a playlist and then and then turn on auto mix then it's gonna auto mix these music videos kind of like mtv back in the day i do this when i'm hanging out at home with some friends or you could even do this during your paid gigs if people are maybe eating dinner or it's a time where people aren't really going hard on the dance floor. It adds a really dynamic thing to your sets. And then you could also do lyric videos. So if you want people to sing along or maybe you want to do some type of karaoke, you could have lyric videos like this, which again adds a whole nother thing. When, if people get start singing, they have a better... your iPad to a projector. You could check out one of these videos where I teach you how, and I definitely recommend doing it in 2023 because people have less attention spans. So definitely if you're trying to decide which streaming service to use with DJ Pro AI, definitely my opinion, I would say use Tidal and then make playlists, get all these songs, music videos, put them into playlists so that you're ready to DJ and you're organized. Watch this video over here where I teach you how to organize your playlist. Thanks for watching.